Hey guys, welcome back to Black Clover Mobile. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the event. I was doing a spreadsheet trying to do a complete guide for the event, but we don't have enough information uh, for me to complete the full guide. But while I was doing it, I started noticing some inefficiencies in value, and I don't think it's going to be worth farming this event. It is still early. There is still unknowns. For instance, I don't know how much stamina it's going to cost per run on the challenge stages. So we'll have to wait and see. But in general, I, I, I want to advise caution in this event. The first thing I'm going to say, and we'll go through some math on some stuff in a sec, don't like farm. If you're on, if you're on uh, America at the moment, you've only got the first three stages. I'm on the Asia server. Um, don't farm like stage three. On day two, don't farm stage six. If you're going to farm one, you want to farm stage seven, eight, or nine because they all have the same amount of drops. It's going to give you more of the beach balls, and it's also going to give you more of the progress to unlock the challenge stages because this is going to talk, even at this stage, at farming stage nine, it's going to take about 2,250 stamina just to unlock the first challenge stage. Keep that in mind. It is quite expensive to do. We'll talk about it uh, a bit more and the math and my thoughts around it in a sec. But just that's the one thing I would say. Don't farm that. The other thing is if you if you're going to summon on the seasonal banner later on or if you're waiting to get your... Um, your gateway character, don't even touch the event because you want as many of these bonuses as you can get. If you're, say, saving for Julius uh, and you're going to summon on Julius and then if you get him, you'll summon on the seasonal banner, then don't touch the event until you've done all the summons you're going to do on the seasonal banner because you really want to max out as many of these characters as you can to get the extra bonus. Because if we jump back over here quickly, uh, I'll show you. I basically can't... So this column is if you have one seasonal unit. This is how if you have two seasonal units. And this is how if you have three seasonal units. And if we go to challenge mode five, you can see that over here, we end up getting, uh, when we look at it, this is starfish, this is balls. You're getting 25 starfish. If you use three uh, per run, if you use three of the um, seasonal units compared to 21, if you use one. Now, it may not seem like a crazy amount, but it is a decent difference. Uh, this is the base because when we look at it, you get an extra 110%. So, uh, but the one thing is the reason I made this table as well, if you're curious, if you want to pause it and have a make it take a screenshot or anything like that, um, because if we go back over here in the notes, they say, please note that the number of additional rewards obtained is will be rounded down to the nearest hole. So that's why I went ahead and made this to work out exactly how much each one would get with each of your bonuses, assuming that everyone's going to have at least one seasonal unit plus the two SR units to slap with it. So that was my assumption that I made there. But let's jump back over into this event and talk a little bit more about it because when we look at it, I, I think the cha I, I think my, my personal plan, and I'm not telling you what you should do. Like I said, it's going to take about 2,250 stamina to unlock this. Basically, the reason for that is if we go over down here to the normal stage, let's say all you farm, you instantly unlock nine. Like, yes, you've got to work through the other ones, but let's just say, and you got to work through basic, but let's say you just instantly unlocked nine and that's all you had to do. You need to get 900. So you'd have to do your... 900 divided by 6, which is what I did over here. I'll just jump into the math quickly. Whoops, wrong one. That one? Yeah, there it is. All right, so I did the 900 points. To get 900 points, I did this one here, which is 900 divided by 6, which gives us 150 runs that we have to do. And then because they cost 15 stamina, it's that uh, 150 times the 15 stamina gives us two, uh, 2250 on the cost to actually unlock it. So to unlock the challenge mode, it's going to cost you at least 2,250 stamina. Now... If that is worth it, you've got to make that call. You get you get four pieces, and I think that the, what this is, it says is that you if you three star the stage, you get it. I don't know how hard the challenges are going to be. Uh, I will update you guys when I get there because I'll do these anyway just to find out. Um, so you're going to get four pieces of of gear, but this is like a new set, which is healing received plus four percent for the two piece bonus. Honestly, it's pretty average. I don't really have any interest in it, but. You know, maybe I get good sub stats or something like that. Then we have this. this. These ones are always good. You get a bunch of the upgrade stones. I love those things. Uh, then we go here. But the thing about these LR gear chests is they can drop the star sets and they only drop LR gear. Now, if we go to the probabilities here, you'll see we got 2.8 on the standard ones. Uh, and then we drop low for the... Um, the star ones, especially the good sets, like the speed set that you're looking for. Uh, but in general, th th those are the sort of drop rates we're looking at. But you're guaranteed LR gear from these ones, which isn't too bad in my opinion. You get one there and then you get two there and you are getting that Asta. However, just remember with the Asta thing, 
Uh, and this is where you guys got to make your own decision because I, I, I'm honestly considering myself whether it's even worth it to unlock challenge and even participate in this event at all. I think for me, I, like I said, I will um, to get those rewards also to get some of the missions done, but we'll talk more about that in a sec. But just with the Aster, they have changed him uh, from the other versions. And this is a whole conversation on its own that we can have in another video, but he is no longer a seasonal unit. Um, you can see here in here, he doesn't have the season where he was a seasonal unit in the other version. Uh, and the other thing is he is now on the standard banner. So if we go over here to the standard banner and we hit probability, you can see we get Asta. So he's not actually a, a an exclusive unit. So you will get him eventually. So it just depends whether you want to spend all that stamina to do it. Like I said, I'm kind of on the fence with it at the moment on even participating in the event. Now let's take a look at the other stuff in the event that we can get. If we go to now the event pass, if you're looking to purchase the event pass, sorry, you just cut out there. But um, yeah, so for the event pass, um, 1500 gems to unlock it. I'm not going to unlock it until the I don't think I will because I, I, we look at here, it costs, it gets 400 of those activity points. Remember, you need 900 activity points uh, just to unlock the challenge mode. Now, you need 1300 to unlock all of them, and this is only getting you to level like two for 400. So the amount you'd have to farm this to max it out feels absolutely ridiculous. And for me, I don't think it's going to be worth dumping all that stamina in to max this out because we don't even know how much, like how many points you need to max it out. Meaning we don't know how much stamina it's going to cost. But like looking at this for stage one to two being 400, dude, it's, that's going to, I feel like that's going to be like 50,000 stamina. And I'm not even exaggerating there. I like, I feel like maybe I am exaggerating, maybe like 10 to 20,000 stamina in this event just to do that. And when we look at the shop, I don't think it's worth it. So my advice on this is just hold out and wait and see unless you're desperate for a beach frame. But my, my advice would be just like hold on to your gems uh, and wait till the end of the event and see what you ended up deciding doing and where you got to and whether you think it's worth the gems. Because yeah, Mac, getting the, the max rewards on this for that many gems, pr probably decent. Um, you know, if we look at these things, uh, talent seeds, uh, yeah, I mean, five of these is pretty decent as well. But yeah, I just leave it to the end. I don't think I'm going to buy it because I don't think I'm even going to get into like number six on this thing. So we'll have to wait and see. So that is the battle pass. As we look to the event missions, now event missions will be decent. Uh, and the, the one thing is these uh, purchase, purchase items at the exchange, collect beach balls, starfish. I, I definitely think beach balls and starfish. These will, be, these will probably be those ones where you fill up the bar, you collect it, and then you got to fill up the bar again. Because if you look for me personally, uh, I've done four four of the missions so far. So these one-time clears are nice. You do get a good chunk of stamina. So I think like uh, for, for the... For well, these are the challenge stages. So for the 2250 stamina you're spending, you're getting uh, two, three, you're getting 350 back just from that. Plus you can get some stuff from the store. So once again, I think it's going to be okay to go and clear the challenges once. Um, but that is what you're looking at. Uh, but as for the other things, these are going to be those ones where you fill up. So I don't even know if you'll get to the ask the skill page here. I don't know if it's going to be worth grinding the event to get the summon tickets either, because it's just a lot of stamina, especially for free to play. Uh, Wales, it may be a different story, but that's what we're looking at for that one. And then if we go to the exchange center, which I ran some math on the uh, stamina boxes, because I was curious to see how how much stamina it would cost to get a stamina box. So <laughs> I'll go through that math in a sec. But essentially from this shop, nothing up here interests me really. Uh, this is that new set. I, I think that's way too expensive for an analog gear. I have no interest in getting Asta's uh, thing because remember this is on the standard banner too. Plus if you just do the missions, you will get one depending on how many missions you get through. And it's not completely, it's not really not that crack. So I'm not really too stressed on getting it at all. So this special section really ain't that special in my opinion. Uh, this one, the shared mage piece, uh, I know like it always becomes a struggle for these for me personally. Like I'm down to like four left, I think. Uh, so these would be nice. I would like them. The next thing that interests me is stamina. Down here, I think for the beach balls, all you're going to be doing is exchanging for starfish to get one of these two. But like I said, I decided to run the math 
uh, once again, I clicked the wrong screen. I decided to run the math to figure out uh, how much stamina it would cost to buy 100 stamina because those boxes are 100 stamina. And so what I did was I, I worked out how many uh, starfish you would get from C5 uh, after you convert the beach balls, which are these ones, uh, into starfish, which is 150 divided by 100. Uh, so if we, if we go over here, uh, sorry, 100 divided by 150. So you can see the math that I've done there. Uh, d times it by the 100 divided by 150, which is basically 66.66%. That's the conversion rate you're getting for them. So for this, if you're doing it with one seasonal unit, you're looking at getting 27.6 per run. If you're doing it with two seasonal units, you're looking at 30.3 per run uh, on the starfish. And then if you're running three seasonal units, you're looking at 33. Now, I only calculated this. And so this is how many runs you would have to do uh, to get the to buy the stamina. That's how many runs. And then because we don't know the stamina, we don't know how much stamina it costs to do challenge stages yet. And this is assuming 15, which is the same as normal. My guess would be the challenge stages are probably going to be around that 20 stamina mark. Now, if they are cheaper, that will completely change my mind on this event. But at the moment, I'm assuming 15 stamina because that's the same as the normal stages. That would cost 227 stamina uh, to get to buy 100 stamina if you're running uh, three of the seasonal units. It's going to be more expensive if you're running two and more expensive if you're running one. So I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, like the only thing that would uh, change my mind on this event and make it worth farming is if the challenge stages are way cheaper than the normal stages because the normal stages cost you 15 stamina um and i don't see challenge stages being cheaper but if these are like six stamina well then it changes the equation completely and i'll update you guys but i will do an updated video on this anyway but i just wanted to let you guys know what's going on so far once i do once i once, once tomorrow comes on my asia server <sighs> I don't even know if I want to pump that stamina in. Maybe I'll see if someone does it. If anyone unlocks uh, challenge mode, let me know. Let me know how much stamina it costs and I'll calc it out. But at this stage, once again, I advise just waiting on this event, waiting till we find out more information about it. The values don't seem too insane to me. I don't think you've got a need to rush it. It's around for no another 20 days. You obviously want to get um, you know, your seasonal characters as well. So you want to be waiting for your uh, gateway anyway to get that character at least. So that is what I would be doing at the moment, just waiting on the event and waiting to see what happens. And I will update you guys when I get more information and I can bring you more numbers. But anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.